So here's the congregation. Oh. Hello. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. Good morning, Pastor Bradley. Good morning. Buenos dias. Good morning, dias. everyone. <laughs> we are ready here. Just a little bit of technical issues. So. <laughs> We all understand technical issues. It's great to have you on. <laughs> What's amazing is that we could do this now. That yes. um, a year ago, I suppose we could have done this a year ago, but it didn't really occur to us in the same way. And yeah. now we can be present to one another in a new way. El pastor Bradley, el pastor de la iglesia, dice que, que es muy bueno verlos a ustedes y que hace un año hubieran podido hacerlo de esta forma, pero como no era pandemia. Entonces, que dice que ahora con esto, con la tecnología es una bendición para poder conectarnos. ¿verdad? One congregate says that they are very blessed to be here and they are glad that it's possible to gather by this Zoom meeting. So they're very happy. We are going to start, and I want to introduce you, uh, members of the Divino Salvador del Mundo, and also the pastors and members of Gloria Day and uh, uh, Eastern Lutheran Church. If you want to introduce yourselves, please. Estamos presentándoles a los hermanos del Divino Salvador del Mundo y a los pastores y pastoras de Gloria Day y de could you could you present yourselves to the congregation, please? All right. Well, I'll start. I, my name is Pastor Bradley, and I'm at Gloria Day. It's so nice to see all of you. Pastor Megan and Pastor Luis, are you there? So you can, Kim and Katie. Yes. Hello, I'm Pastor Megan Torgerson. I'm one of the pastors at Easter Lutheran Church, and it is good to be here with you today. I'm Pastor Lois. I'm one of the pastors at Gloria Day, and it's just wonderful to see all of you on, on our screen. Welcome. Hi, I'm Katie from Gloria Day. I helped get the meeting started, and I'm glad you're here. I'm Pastor Steve, and I... I've seen you before. It's uh, good to see. El pastor Steven, él estuvo aquí antes. ¿Se recuerdan de él? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they remember you. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos días a todos. Um, me llamo Julia. Um, estoy muy emocionada de estar con ustedes otra vez. Gracias. <laughs> And Pastor Karen, I'm Tim Strand, the music director, and I was with Katie and Julie on our last visit, and I love seeing the church and all the people. Él también vino la última vez que estuvieron haciendo las. Yeah, they remember. I'm uh, Pastor Brandon from Eastern Lutheran Church. Él es el pastor de. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Carol Engel, and I've been to Guatemala twice, but I haven't yet had the privilege of meeting you. So it's wonderful to meet you today. <laughs> Hello, El Divino. This is Kim Becker. I've been lucky to be with you four times, so it's good to see familiar faces and how big some of the kids are getting. And I'm Kathy Barkey, and this is uh, Fran from Easter Lutheran Church, and both of us have been to Guatemala many times, and we look forward to a future visit. 
Yes, I'm con ustedes aquí también. Okay, so we can start with the song okay. now here at the church, if that is okay with you. Van a cantar ustedes. ¿Sí? Uno, dos y tres. No se puede. El amor de Dios es maravilloso, el amor de Dios es maravilloso, el amor de Dios es maravilloso. Gracias es el amor de Dios, tan alto que no puedo estar. Tan bajo que no puedo estar abajo de Tan alto que no puedo estar afuera de Grande es el amor de Dios Pastor Megan is leading us in prayer. La pastora Megan va a guiarnos en oración. Please pray with me. Most gracious God, we gather in the name of your Son and in the light of the Holy Spirit. We give you our thanks and praise for these beautiful friendships and for the ministry of your gospel in Guatemala and in the United States. Bless us as we gather, fill us with more faith and with your grace. Make us one people under your banner, which is love. May the partnership signed on paper today become a living testimony to your creative work in the world. In Jesus name, amen. Dios misericordioso, nos reunimos en el nombre de tu Hijo y a la luz del Espíritu Santo. Te damos nuestro agradecimiento y alabanza por estas hermosas amistades y por el misterio de tu Evangelio en Guatemala y en los Estados Unidos. Bendícenos mientras nos reunimos. Llénanos de más fe y de tu gracia. Haznos un pueblo bajo tu espíritu. Estandarte que es el amor. El convenio firmado hoy en papel se convierta en un testimonio vivo de tu trabajo creativo en el mundo. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. Psalm 145, 1-13. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding, abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over, over all that has made. All your works and shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power, to make known to your people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Salmo 145. Te exaltaré mi Dios, mi Rey, y bendeciré tu nombre eternamente y para siempre. Cada día te bendeciré y alabaré tu nombre eternamente y para siempre. Grande es Jehová y digno de suprema alabanza, y su grandeza es inescrutable. Generación a generación celebrará tus obras y anunciará tus poderosos hechos. 
en la hermosura de la gloria de tu presencia y en tus hechos maravillosos meditaré. Del poder de tus hechos estupendos hablarán los hombres y yo publicaré tu grandeza. Proclamarán la memoria de tu inmensa bondad y cantará tu justicia. Clemente y misericordioso es Jehová, lento para la ira y grande en misericordia. Bueno es Jehová para con todos y su misericordia sobre todas sus obras. Te alaben, oh Jehová, todas tus obras y tus santos te bendigan. La gloria de tu reino digan y hablen de tu poder para hacer saber a los hijos de los hombres sus poderosos hechos y la gloria de la magnificencia de su reino. Tu reino es reino de todos los siglos y, su, y tu señoría en todas las generaciones. Lectura del libro de Romanos, capítulo 15, versículos del 5 al 6. Y el Dios que infunde aliento y perseverancia les conceda vivir juntos en armonía conforme al ejemplo de Cristo Jesús, para que con, su sol, con un solo corazón y una sola voz glorifiquen a Dios y Padre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Esta es palabra de Dios. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, so that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, mis amigas y amigos, St. Paul writes to the Romans, para que con un solo corazón, y una sola voz glorifiquen al Dios y Padre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. I had to practice that out loud many times so that I could speak the words of scripture in the voice of our partners in Guatemala. I'm glad you're clapping, but I think my pronunciation probably wasn't that good. <laughs> They said yes. Okay. A year ago, I had a plane ticket to fly to Guatemala City for the dedication of El Colegio Luterano Agostino. And I was so disappointed that the spread of COVID meant that we had to cancel that trip. I knew that it was too late to start learning Spanish for my trip but I started a daily lesson with Duolingo anyway, an app on my phone. <laughs> It promises that in five minutes every day, I can become a fluent Spanish speaker. <laughs> Even though our trip was canceled, I continued to do my lesson on Duolingo and yesterday completed my 400th day of study. <laughs> So after a full year, I can say very important things like mis amigas caminaron en la playa or las vacas están comiendo el queso. <laughs> What I, what I really learned is that I cannot be fluent in Spanish with only five minutes of study each day. It's going to take longer, but I'm committed. Es que lo que se es que no puede ser eh, muy fluido en español, pero tiene que ser 
<laughs> what scripture teaches me, however, is that even without speaking the same language, we can share one heart and one voice that gives glory to God. The faith that we share, our love of Jesus Christ, and our determination to live with love and justice makes us one body. One body that stretches from St. Paul to Guatemala City, from Easter and Gloria Day to El Divino Salvador del Mundo y El Colegio. Somos uno que viaja desde San Pablo hasta Guatemala, de Easter, Gloria Day, El Divino Salvador del Mundo hasta El Colegio Literal. It brings my heart so much joy today to see your faces on the screen and to hear your voices. But I know we already walk together as partners in the future that God is making for us. During these Easter days, we glorify God that Christ is risen and that new life has come to all of us. We have a song that has the words, love has come again like wheat arising green. El amor ha vuelto como el trigo brotando verde. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Good, that's better.
Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed using our own languages. You may unmute and we'll say this together. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator in heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus the Saint as only Son of the Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Jesus, crucified, died, and was buried. He he will come again to the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church, the resurrection of the body, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Now we have the covenant that we are going to sign. And uh, all of the members of El Divino Salvador del Mundo are going to come in front and sign the covenant, and you will do there. And after that, we all put it together. Y ahora tenemos el convenio de hermanamiento, y que vamos a pasar todos al final. Y después lo vamos a unir con los firmes de los hermanos de Gloria América para tenerlo. Acuérdense que un hermanamiento es una relación entre las tres iglesias en las que nos comprometemos a caminar juntos con el mismo espíritu y con la misma fe. We need to remember that a covenant is walking together, accompany each other in this journey of faith, where we are going to be um, together as one body, as Pastor Brady was saying. So let's let's sign it. Para que se mire para on one of the Sundays when we're back in church, we'll also have everyone come forward and sign this document. For right now, I'm signing on behalf of everybody. So we'll get everybody. <laughs> Gracias. 
We can continue. We pass on our prayer. So I don't know if you want to say some words regarding to the partnerships. Yes, so much. We're just, uh, we're very grateful to be able to be a part of this partnership uh, with our, our friends here and our friends there as well. So thank you for joining into this commitment with us. We're so grateful. And so uh, let's, let's pray together as our Savior taught us. You are welcome to pray in your own language and you are also welcome to unmute. Let's pray together. Our Father in el Señor los bendiga y los guarde. Haga el Señor resplandecer su rostro sobre ustedes y les conceda la bendición de Dios Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo para con ustedes hoy Amén. Y ahora vamos a tener un tiempo de, de compartir. Y de compartir con nuestros hermanos, no sé si tuvieran ellos algunas preguntas. So, so Pastor Karen is asking if, if you have some questions or if you want to say something or you if you want to add something else. We are we are up to So, so the vaccine, ellos están preguntando si tenemos acceso a la vacuna ahorita. Entonces, talking about the, the vaccine in, in Guatemala, it's a little bit challenging right now. They started uh, with the vaccine, but just uh, the vaccination process is just for the, for the healthcare uh, personnel, doctors and nurses, uh, not yet for, for the entire population. And the vaccines who are here in Guatemala are donations from other governments. Ustedes quieren contestar algo sobre las, las vacunas o cómo está la, la actualidad ahorita en, en nuestro país? Sí, que, eh, ¿Cómo es su relación ¿Cuál es su nombre? Sir? Gladys. Ask how is your your relationship uh, among the the congregation because now you you are having uh, virtual services or or with distances. How are you doing that? I'll, I can answer for Easter at least. It's a little different for each congregation. Um, different congregations are allowed to to make some decisions that are best for them. Most churches are doing uh, still something online. At Easter, we have, for about a month, had a very limited number of in-person services as well. So on Easter Sunday, for instance, we had online and in-person and, and lots of attendance at both. And so far, um, things are going pretty well, but different churches are, are making the decisions that are, are right for them and their congregations. Entonces, por ejemplo, para la iglesia de Easter, dice que se han reunido pocas veces en persona, han tenido servicios eh, con poco, con poco persona, con distanciamiento, pero mayormente todo ha sido virtual. Todos los servicios siguen eh, siendo por medio de Zoom o YouTube o, o servicios pregrabados, aparte de Easter. 
at Gloria Day, we're not back in our church building yet. So the pastors and the musicians come in during the week and we record our parts of the service and the sermon and all the hymns. And then we put it together into a package that we put on YouTube on Sunday morning. Entonces, por ejemplo, para Gloria Day, dice el pastor Bradley, que ellos entre semana hacen una reunión de los pastores y el equipo del de el grupo de música graban su, su servicio y ellos lo suben a alguna plataforma como YouTube, por ejemplo, para que el fin de semana eh, lo puedan ver las congregaciones de ellos. They could watch on YouTube anytime they would like. It's a way we can share things now. Y ellos pueden verlo en cualquier momento en YouTube. Entonces, es una forma también de, de compartir en estos momentos. And sometimes we try to sing in Spanish. Yeah. At Easter as well, you could watch us on YouTube if you wanted. It, um, we, we would love to be able to do the same with you. It would be an exciting way to worship together if we could. <laughs> Entonces, dice que en Easter también están grabando sus servicios. Y los han subido a, a YouTube, por ejemplo. Entonces, es una buena oportunidad para que ustedes también puedan ver los videos de ellos, de sus servicios y cómo ellos están ahorita eh, teniendo. Y si ustedes pudieran mandar videos, ¿verdad? Un servicio como lo que hablábamos al principio para que puedan compartir. ¿verdad? Yeah. Oh, so one of the leaders of, of the congregation uh, it's sharing that Here depends about the authorities, the local authorities. If the cases, the rate cases is very high, they cannot uh, gather together, but it's not increasing. They can gather like right now. Even the cases after Holy Week are getting very, very high. So we are expecting what the government says to. Mm -hmm. Este, yo quiero compartir este, el, el agradecimiento por, por el tiempo que está compartiendo acá con nosotros. La verdad que a nosotros es una alegría de que ustedes estén eh, acá en esta hermandad y pues este, esperamos de que estemos en esta unión, ¿verdad? Compartiendo esta alegría de vida. I just want to say thank you for being here today, sharing your time and sharing this opportunity so we can walk together in this partnership. Thank you very much for the both churches who are willing to walk with us and share. Thank you very much. Blessings and thank you. We have very beautiful memories from uh, uh, visits before, years before. Thank you very much also because you always give us uh, inspiration you with your visits is we are glad to receive your visits and I, that also that uh, motivates us to be very active in our church so thank you very much for the for the partnership and to give us that strength in faith we are we are very glad because even we are very uh, we have a long distance between us we can feel that we are very close together Thank you very much because you encourage us in those in these pandemic times. Thank you for being our partners. We are very blessed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nos sentimos muy contentos de tener una amistad con ustedes, eh, aunque sea a la distancia. Y muchas gracias a la Iglesia Gloria Day por este hermanamiento que estamos teniendo el día de hoy. Y igual a la Iglesia de Easter, nos, nos sentimos contentos de volverlos a ver. Y muchas gracias. Que Dios los bendiga. Thank you very much for your partnership. Thank you very much for being our friends uh, this time for Gloria Day and Easter. Uh, we just wish you many blessings for you in this journey. And thank you. Les agradecemos mucho en nombre de nuestra iglesia. Les agradecemos a los dos hermanamientos, ya que este es un trabajo de Dios, ¿verdad? Porque... Esta, esta comunidad es muy hermosa y tiene mucha sed de Dios, eh, mucho cariño hacia Dios. Han estado acá, pese a, nuestras, a las situaciones que hemos tenido de cierre de iglesias, de no permitir que nos reunamos. Ellos han tenido esa fe, esa, han tenido esa esperanza y siempre han estado ahí listos para servirle a Dios. Y es una iglesia que de veras eh, se da se da mucho amor de Cristo y nos sentimos muy contentos y agradecidos con ustedes y los esperamos cuando puedan abrir ya fronteras y puedan venir ustedes acá. Muy agradecido. Mi nombre es Roy, soy el reverendo Roy Castillo. He is the pastor of, of the church and he's Roy Castillo, the pastor. Uh, he's saying that it's a joy today. They, they have a big joy uh, because you are uh, in partnership with them. Uh, they are very blessed because this community, this congregation is very active. They have a lot of uh, challenges. challenges, but also they have a big spirit to continue in this journey. So thank you very much for, the, for your partnership. And they hope that when everything goes like a little bit normal and the frontiers open again, that you can see each other face to face. Pastors and members of Gloria Day and Easter Lutheran, it's a blessing to be in partnership with you. Uh, this is very, this is a, a big motivation for this congregation to continue worshiping together. And we are very grateful that even though our technology didn't work out uh, through the cell phone, we could be connected today and have this uh, uh, moment of signing the covenant that it's a uh, It's very beautiful for all of the members of El Divino Salvador del Mundo. Thank you very much. Les estaba diciendo que estaba diciendo que estábamos pasando que nuestra tecnología no funcionó, ¿verdad? Aprobamos y al final nos dejó votados. Desde tenemos nosotros la posibilidad de tener este momento especial todos y todas juntas aquí para poder servir a Dios y poder continuar en este caminar. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Se están despidiendo. Thank you. God bless you. We're so grateful for you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. Felices Pascuas. Felices Pascuas de Resurrección. Goodbye. Happy Thank Easter. you. Adios. Adios. Adios, amigos. Hasta la próxima vez. <laughs> Hasta pronto. Thank you, Easter. It's great to partner with you. Thank you. We're, we're really honored and very excited. Great.